Hello everyone! So, I haven't played in a while and I also haven't been keeping notes until now. So yeah, it doesn't feel that long since my last update, but we had like a gap here <laughs> in here in between here. So we had alien babies the last time we played this and now we have 54 children. Everyone is very impressed with the tentacle monster under the bed. Same. Yet another one of my children died today from rock climbing. Okay. Uh, which is very inconvenient since I am now too sad to get late. So I'm all depressed and trying to find a new boyfriend and uh, well, new boyfriend got me in a good mood. Sadly, it's Pyro Day and I have no idea what any of this means. So I was trying to flirt when one of my children started making out with my new date. Excuse me! So I had to send my child home. To his wife and child. We are back on making babies while our already alive babies are whining about wanting to eat or something. And we have a fucking bear suit again. Just, I hate bear suits. I hate them so much. This is why I don't edit children in creative scene because they just wear stupid bear suits and I pick hairstyle for six hours. Now, I am as huge as a house and ready for this baby to be born. And I am ready for my alien babies to grow up and two children to grow up to teenagers. Classic cakey shenanigans. These cakes would put me to the grave, I swear to God. So my children were done cooking and everyone grew up. So I went to check out how the rest of our team were doing. This will be very interesting, since I don't remember jack shit. Oh, just going down the list, we have the triplets, uh, nothing really happened, and they almost set the house on fire within the first 24 seconds, so let them stew for a little bit. <laughs> Moving on to the Vlad household. Now I have a cheat uh, to have same sex team have a baby together, and I will do that. I love this household. Everyone looks so awesome. They're, they're all so cool, and now Vlad is pregnant, and I don't want to deal with Vlad on his best days, let alone on his pregnant days, so we're gonna let this one stew for a little bit. So next we have a mess, so some rearranging will be in order. So we now have a vampire, his new wife, his two children, a child of our brother, another brother, and his teen child. Interesting. So I'm moving the children around since this is getting very crowded and boring. So, so now checking out my hybrid alien slash mermaid. Ah uh, yeah, we are trying to get our mermaid boyfriend while glitching. So we are now a uh, no Facebook official, having sexy time under waterfall. Moving on, we have the family with a bunch of fucking kids and only the twins have the same parents. And one of them is a wizard and the wife was married to the brother of her husband, right? Because I didn't want to move them around. Yeah, I remember this. I just went, no kiss. And that was it. That's all I did. <laughs> Moving on, another normal family, uh, the mom is kind of a slut, they moved to a trailer with zero simulates, so I gave them one mother load. Up next, another huge ass family, full of unknown sim, uh, so apparently only two children need to go live with their mom, otherwise this appears to be an orphanage. <laughs> another full house, kind of orphan house I guess, and someone's crying at the grave. I I don't know who it belongs to. Maybe it's Lexis. Yeah, I, yeah, she died in the last episode. Another house full of kids and they are all ours. This family so damn no normal. No one has a lover or anything. Like, come on, guys. Give me something to work with. I cannot have drama without the drama. Uh, and next family is a little big, but you know, uh, not that weird. And you know, when you have like 99 siblings, I guess, like having five kids, it doesn't seem that bad. <laughs> and our witchy family, the mom had uh, fun when she was young, I guess. Uh, her former husband was also the father of our hundred baby wizard. So yeah, you keep it in the family, I guess. So some children are not mine and they will be rehomed. Up next we have twins and both their wives died, so they just live here with 
combine five kids. Someone wants to flirt with the ghost of Mortimer, it says so, but I can't find the footage. Okay, I mean, it is possible Mortimer won't leave me alone, so you know. Uh, so her husband recently passed away and therefore she will be moving out with her children. That was not her husband, so once again, we basically have a household of leftover children. Moving on, I remember this being a mess, so the mom liked to have fun. So I expected a bunch of more children. But here we are with only one extra husband. So again, the ones that are not related to our hundred babies are moving out. Another relatively normal family with few extra kids that are gonna go live on the farm. And for our last family, I made a fucking mess. I tried for baby with my lover while my waifu is pregnant. And then I moved in a child from the, another lover that gave birth to it, who is married to his brother, but you know, we're living on a beach. Yeah, and we're gonna bake our back rolls a little bit. So now that I am caught up with our legacies, I have done some last minute reshuffling and I'm gonna go back to the baby factory. I am thinking of making mermaids since I still don't have enough children. So I call the mermaid that is dating my daughter, the mermaid slash alien hybrid. And I tried for babies, hoping at least one will be fish baby. And I forgot that I already banged him because of the gap year. I figure it out later, <laughs> don't worry about it. And I made twins and one of them is a merman. You know, another round of growing seam up. Of course, starting with a prematurely eaten cake, classics. So I'm taking the baby skills down to two. I had them at three before. It's just getting tedious and no longer fun. And a lot of glitching since I have so many sims. And we will see a little bit of decline of gameplay that I right about here. So at this point, I figured out that I have already made love to the merman and forgot about it. I know, I know, the rules, don't stop booing, please don't, don't unsubscribe. So I'm letting this whole merman thing slide because I, I'm barely holding together. Right now, as well as at the time of filming this. <laughs> now again, uh, checking out the changes in other families. I think I missed a few before. So I'm gonna check that out as well as give away a few pets. And here we have a bunch of kids and dogs and like zero furnishing. Oh, Ikea, never heard of her. <laughs> so someone is married to a werewolf, a Liberian werewolf. They live in an apartment and he walks in on all fours and is also doing dishes. So perfect man, basically. So, you know, relatively normal. Uh, but the child will be relocated since my game is glitching so bad already. I cannot have any extra sims here. So going to Vlad's house and I'm aging up the baby. And who the hell <laughs> did you lose? Baby, you were just born. You don't fucking know anyone. <laughs> Moving on <laughs> to more baby families. So we married an old lady. So we're trying to have a little chitty cheat with uh, trying for baby before the Reaper came to take her to the farm and that took a few tries. Uh, <laughs> we hoo-hooed the old waifu to death. Uh, so now I need to find a new one. Uh, you know, mo making more fishes. Oh, oh hello there. <laughs> moving on, moving on, I'm just leaving this. Now every time I come here, we just have more fucking toddlers. Next family is the same every time. More children, like there is no room in this tiny house for any more babies. So here we clearly married for the money. So we're, you know, again sealing the deal with this bad boy. And by boy, I mean elderly man <laughs> who will soon be no longer among us. So we had to hurry this up. But this one didn't die from hoo-hooing, so that's improvement. <laughs> so some more baby aging and family merging, and I'm back to my core 100 baby family. I tried to seduce a few guys, you know, lowering my standards as the day went by. 
I was keep being interrupted by hungry children and dying chickens. We settled on the conspiracy theories. The chickens were it, but you know, the pickings are sleep, okay? At least the FBI agent will have some good footage today. So I'm just waiting for baby to arrive and like do some you no know, chores and shit. And with my conspiracy theory baby being born, I did the whole aging up everyone shtick again. I made extra cake this time, taking preventative measures. <laughs> so once again, once that was done, I was checking on the progress with the other families. It's a mess. It's always a mess. They just, no, they just die. They just leave children behind. You have to figure out if he belongs to me or not. He doesn't, so I changed his last name to avoid more confusion. <laughs> so next, hundred baby Jan waifu is she's a lot. Uh, she's a jealous spellcaster who hates children and our apartment. Fantastic. And so I'm just gonna make more babies for her to you know, dislike and leave. <laughs> so after some more cleaning up of the families, again nothing, nothing is happening. Nothing. I hate this. I'm back to now. There's more babies. Maybe something interesting will happen. We are on number 60, baby number 60, and uh, it's Christmas, and I'm looking for another victim today. And we found another conspiracy theorist. You know, I guess the world got around about the good times that are happening here in you know, the secret fall head meetings they're having. And we're on to making more babies. You know, nothing interesting happened while the baby was baking. You know, just pure chaos. So fast forward to birth and. And we will now age them up again. We begin the madness that this time started with fire, but at least the cake was okay, which is the important part. But everything else was a mess. <laughs> and look at these little chaos goblins. Like, why are you there? The fire is out. I know the cake is scary, but you no know, chop chop. Come on, we have a lot of gameplay to catch up for today. After that, I just moved on to you know, different messes, basically. So here we have dead waifu. She left us two kids and one of them is not ours, as well as two cats. Uh, so we will have our sibling move, move in and the child will go uh, on a farm, I guess. And we our toddler up. Also, I start, I think at this point, I started giving them random traits. Just so, you know, I need, I need some excitement in my life. Please, please, just do something. Do anything. Moving on. My husband died, leaving us with five kids and five dogs. <laughs> ah! Great, the fan fucking fantastic. I'll move some of the dogs to our different families. After some more like arranging, I feel like sim accountant, and so I'm gonna go back to make more more sim, which will surely fix the problems I'm having. <laughs> So I was not having a lot of luck with the boys and my chickens keep dying and my children were hungry. After striking out, we finally managed to flirt up the guy with questionable fashion sense and I took him to the dumpster. <laughs> so I did another round of aging sim up and the okay, K goes bad and I get bored. You know, and once again I went to find more dudes, so this whole toxic cycle can repeat itself. <laughs> I think I officially ran out of men to be fathers to my babies, and now I only meet husbands of my children. I finally managed to drag someone home, or at least to our telescope, you know, so he doesn't see the mess inside. No, there is so much chaos. I think this file has been hit since like 10 kids ago. <laughs> Yes, Queen, ignore it, as well as all of this trash in front of the house. So I made another cake and I did another round of aging and moving out. Then I finished up the child. I love how one is just ignoring me completely and the toddler is, is gonna join us for this experience. <laughs> Mother, please let me join. Now checking out on the other families. Nothing is happening. Just some more, more normal babies, couples. I went to create a sim to look at hairstyles for like three hours because I am constantly confusing uh, my sim with NPCs or like professional clowns. And I just found out that I cannot get rid of pimples when I age them to young adults. And even when I turn off the pimples, the ones that are al already adults, it, it just leaves skip. Same. <laughs> So back to the 100 babies, I'm a bit sick of trying to pick up a very hard to get food stand vendor next to my house. 
And since that was a bust, uh, I'm gonna go pick up a werewolf since I don't have one yet. And you know, the librarian worked for one of my kids, so I went to Hida library in hopes of checking something out. So here we are uh, doing a werewolf, very nice. And the, oh my god, the swarm of kids is, is truly insane. So I see we really no longer care about anything. I gave up, so did the mom. She's just birthing them at this point. No care, no care about the children. No, they were done making. One is a werewolf, so nice. Now I need to feed everyone and age up a bunch of sims and then find another mate. Well, this is not going well. Why are the chickens always coming over to observe me having zero risk? These guys lost just no fucking <laughs> Then I went to Comic Con to pick up a dude. Ah, uh, so you know, we so the bar will be very low, which is perfect for me. <laughs> so then I got pregnant with the dude that was playing hard to get. I think he very overstated his market value, so here we are. <laughs> so I had a baby and it took 30 attempts to grow up previous toddlers. And there was a fire, but you know, at least the children <laughs> had some new guests on their birthday. <laughs> That's so sad. Uh, again, back to checking up on the other families. What are they doing? Where are they going? Nothing. They're doing nothing. Few babies, questionable marriages, and fashion victims to save. That's it. Except for this lovely alien and vampire couple. Look at it. This is so adorable. I love it. So cute. Mm. My new favorite. So, I went to the park and I picked up a gardener for my next baby. I then had a small fire while making lunch. Yet another one of my hundred babies died. Uh, this one from laughing. I don't know what was so funny. But uh, that of course means that I will be sad and won't be able to smash. Bro. Uh, excuse me, good sir. Get out of your mother's bed. Don't give the ghost of Freud more power. <laughs> and our new baby is almost cooked. So now my kids are finished. And so we are gonna go for another round of birthdays and cakes and fires. So now my game crashed and I cheated a bit since I, I don't have the willpower to keep doing this. I am so tired. So birthdays are done uh, and we're gonna go check on our 100 babies outside the house. Again, nothing, nothing, just normal babies, normal pregnancies. <sighs> Can I get at least like alien abduction, anything, anything. Now we got like some pets and triplets, fregos, babies. And the hot alien of my hot alien and hot vampire couple died. They were my favorite. So I am looking for a new dad right now since I want to just carry this, carry this along. No, we have like 70 babies now and I ran out of, like I ran out of cook jokes at baby number 12. <laughs> Yeah, so this has been rough. So I couldn't find anyone in the middle of the night since I got shut down uh, so often. So I harassed the food vendor again. And this time it worked. So gotta keep on trying, boys, I guess. That's the answer. And we're cooking up another baby. Uh, my game crashed again. <laughs> and when I came back again, another one of my country babies died. Is there a plague? I mean, it's good. Less sim, less crashing, but you know. Is what it is. I made some upgrades so, so our children are gonna generate the electricity while running. Uh, and while doing this, I'm going to go into labor. Always, you know, in the worst times possible, I guess. Then I went on to have another uh, birthday round for everyone, and everyone was sad and whiny. Like, ugh, we could be getting used to this a little bit at this point. I, I sure am. <laughs> Also, we are now having a team wolf and one of them is dormant. I don't know what any of this means. Uh, as I mentioned, I haven't played a lot of werewolves because this is old footage actually. And at the time of filming, they were very new to me at least. <laughs> so I'm trying to pick out my next baby daddy while I get the call that another alien child died. Fuck's sake, we're all out of fucking aliens now, so I gotta get abducted by aliens. So anyways, I just cheated alien abduction because I don't have any willpower. <laughs> so our werewolf went ape shit and harassed uh, his siblings. And look at her, she's just standing there in the rain, 
looking terrified of her life choices. Yeah, I <laughs> I understand. <laughs> so we filled our pants again and gave birth to aliens and another child died. <sighs> so we are having another sad round of birthdays. And I went to the nightclub and picked up a new baby daddy. So I went on another birthday thing and waited for my babies to be born. And then another child died, like seriously. They are dying faster than I am giving birth to them. And I am giving birth all the fucking time. Ah, but another hundred gen, they really married the hot vampire that was previously married to the hot alien, so nice. So our, our babies are finally done. It felt like forever. I know it wasn't because I edited everything out. All the pain. I edit out all the pain for you and for me to not watch again. So next to my new baby daddy. And how the fuck did I fail to conceive? I am the most fertile sim on the planet. So second attempt, we now have a baby cooking. And repeat again and the chickens went to heaven or hell, I don't know, they were kind of mean. And then we're having our birthday ceremony completed with death of a child and eating cake prematurely. Then I had a baby and I checked on my dumb asses and someone left a fucking cat alone. Excuse me? What? I shook it, I am shook it. My house is again a mess, so I'm uh, inviting new dudes to make new baby daddy out of him. Fucked off, probably because of all the mess. But I made him come back. He's still playing hard to get. But after a sexy shower, I got him into woohoo mood. And then I accidentally agreed to be his girlfriend. So that was awkward. I got to break up with him. No, after we told, we told him that we're pregnant. <laughs> So I got another out of birthdays and another child died and new babies are done. So, so many, so many of them. <laughs> At this point I just gave up on raising the children. I guess when you have like 80, you get over it. I picked up another dude to be my next baby daddy and with our new child almost done. We are gonna have another birthday round and let's see how much cake shenanigans we're gonna have today. No, that wasn't that bad, so as is tradition, I pissed my pants. <laughs> and then I went into labor. Then I went to check on my other families and nothing special, just a couple of new babies. Also, back to the baby house, I'm close to finishing making all of these babies. Can't wait. This house is haunted, like look at what's with all the gnomes here. <laughs> I don't understand. So I picked up another dude under an umbrella in my living room. Uh, interesting technique. I saw we didn't do it for him since he kind of left while I was busy feeding the army. So one of my children invited me to check out her, her new baby. What a great idea, find more potential mates. So I went out uh, to look at the baby and I went home with the baby. <laughs> So I got a call that the toddler's daddy died on their birthday. <laughs> uh, so another round of depressing birthdays while we wait for the joy of birth for the 85th time. So the joy of birth arrived, it truly really loses some of its charm after a while. <laughs> uh, so I'm gonna end this video right here. So the gameplay went a little stale there for a minute and uh, maybe you're a little confused with million extra families that are getting rearranged every two seconds. Don't worry, so am I. <laughs> but in the next video I will be making a detailed family tree when I also finish the 100 baby challenge and then we just move on to the legacy challenge. Fucking finally. I am so done with taking care of these stupid children. So don't forget to leave a like and also subscribe to my channel to not miss any more of my shenanigans. Bye bye!